what's going on fellas, how we doing? Matt Antonelli here, uh, answering your questions today. Today's question is on rain delays. Um, what do players do during rain delays? Um, and so we're going to get into that and talk about kind of the different places that I played and some of the different options as far as rain delays go. Before we do that, check out the description box below. Uh, we have a deal going on with Plate Crate right now where you can get 50% off your first Plate Crate. Um, so if you want to learn more, check on the description, check the description box out below and click on that link and you'll be able to go right to the website and find out more information. Um, okay, so let's talk about rain delays, okay? Um, so it starts to rain, right? Regardless if it's, um, you know, sometimes you're going to have rain delays where you just go in for like 45 minutes, 30, 45 minutes, and you're going to come right back out and play. There's going to be other times where you're going to have to go back there and sit in there for two, three, four hours sometimes. And depending on the level, will kind of determine how long you'll wait before they cancel the game. So if you're at the major league level, a lot of times they'll have you go in there and just, you, you might wait for hours and hours and hours because they want to get that game in. If you're at a minor league level and the, and the radar looks really, really bad, they'll probably and many times just, just cancel the game. So if it looks like they're gonna, you're going to have to sit there for like three hours, they're just going to cancel it and play the next day, okay? So that's the first thing to kind of understand. Um, you know, what takes place once you go back into the clubhouse um, a bunch of different things, okay? Think of it like this. You're outside playing with your buddies um, and it starts to pour out and you've got to go inside, right? You're a kid, okay? You're a kid. You've got to go inside. What are you going to do? You're stuck in the house. What are you going to do? It's exactly what happens in a major league clubhouse, right? Even though it's 30-year-old men, all right? So most of the stuff that happens, um, players are going to go back down in there and they're going to watch television, right? Maybe there's another game on. Um, you know, every, every major league stadium and every minor league stadium has televisions in the clubhouse. And so they usually have sofas, players just lounge out either at their locker and on the sofa and just watch TV, watch a, a, another baseball game that's on, right? Um, so that's one thing. Cards. Cards are a huge thing that players play. Um, and so, you know, usually you have your groups of players. Some guys like to play poker. Some guys like to play... Um, gin, some guys like, I mean, there's all different stuff that guys will like to play. Um, and so um, guys will go in and, and get into their little groups and all of a sudden start playing cards. Uh, what else? A lot of times guys will use that opportunity to go eat, right? So they're not going to leave and go eat. But um, again, if you're in the major leagues, you're going to have a really nice clubhouse with uh, tons of different food options. And they're going to a lot of times be able to cook you whatever you want. So guys will go in there and, and, uh, make some food um you know later in my career not only later i guess throughout my entire career but you know most guys have you know ipads or laptops or something and so they may go on and, and maybe watch a movie or something if it's going to be one of those long delays where it's going to be like a three hour delay you know you come in you look at the forecast and you're like it ain't going to stop raining for like three hours maybe you watch a movie right um or or play a game or something okay video games is another another one so um you know, a lot of times there's video games in the clubhouse. When I played, uh, when I was with the Nationals, um, I remember Steven Strasburg had his own, it was actually really badass. It was like this briefcase, you know, briefcase looking thing. And he would pop it open and it had, uh, I think it was an Xbox or it was a PS, no, I think it was an Xbox. Um, and the part that pops open had a, a television screen. And so he had, and everything was in there. It was like, it was like custom made and, um, you know, he'd like pop that thing open and could like play video games right there on it. He had like his own video game system, which I never had. Um, but he's a lot better than me. And so, um, you know, some guys will play, um, will play video games. Um, you know, some guys might read a book. So like there's, there's all different stuff to do. It's really depends on what the player likes. But, you know, I think sometimes people don't think like, like, they, they think like baseball players are not humans and they're going to go do like this weird stuff. Like, no, they're going to do the same stuff that anybody would do. Like if it started pouring right now and I had to go home and I didn't have two kids um, and a wife, like what would I do? I'd probably go home and I'd put on the television and watch something or I'd um, play video games or I'd read a book or, um, you know, if I had friends over the house, maybe I'd play cards, play a card game with them. Um, and so it's all you know, normal stuff that, well, at least I think it's normal. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but, um, 
you know, that's most of the stuff that players are going to do. Now, as it gets a little bit closer to game time, like usually you'll get updates or you'll just check the weather and see like, okay, it looks like it's going to clear out. Or maybe the manager or someone will come in and be like, hey guys, we're probably going to start this thing up in about an hour or 45 minutes. Well, as it gets closer to game time, then guys are going to start to move around a little bit. You're going to probably go through a stretching routine. You're going to go and hit a little bit in the cage. If you're a hitter, you might watch over some videos. So you're just going to redo the stuff you did earlier just to get loose and ready for the game. But when you get hours to hang out and chill, you know, you're not going to go back there and take three hours of BP. It's just not going to happen. You're going to go back there and act like a normal human and, you know, watch TV, play games, hang out with your buddies, talk with them, whatever, um, until you have to get ready for the game. So I know I'm pro I probably left out some things, uh, but again, everybody's different. Every team is different. Um, actually, one cool thing, this is actually a cool thing. When I played um, in Dodger Stadium, they had an arcade in there that had every arcade game ever. So you like would go in there it looked like a normal arcade thing you just hit the, the button and you could scroll through and pick any arcade game that you'd want to play like of all time and play it it was awesome so most players would jump on that like um before the game or you know when you first get to the stadium guys would be battling it out on like street fighter and stuff and so there's all kinds of you know um video games is a big option but that was a really cool arcade system that i hadn't seen before um but that was, you know, one thing in, in Dodger Stadium that they had for all of us in the in visiting clubhouse. So, again, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below, and I'll answer them for you guys. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Um, check out our Instagram, Antonio Baseball, Twitter feed, Matt Antonio 9 where I'm posting videos all the time for you guys. Um, check out the description box below where I have the link to Play Crate to get 50% off. And also a bunch of books and training tools that we use with our players that I think you guys will find useful. Um, check out our website, AnselmBaseball.com, to find out more information on our teams and how to work with our staff. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.